part of this prophecy is definitely talking about the return of sky gods. These will be people like the Anunnaki, but also especially the ones that call themselves aliens. The Lord said the gods are coming back to this earth. They will come down from the sky in majestic fashion in front of everyone, making the grandest possible entrance that they can. But beware, for Satan is a deceiver. Please remember this prophecy is called Satan as an angel of light. Satan is a deceiver. The Lord said these gods, quote fingers, will use dazzling lights and flashing lights, for they are beings of light and they can appear as pure light in some cases. Now, remember I said in that prophecy, um, the one with the shattered sky. What is the name of that message? It is called the silver mist, the prophecy where I said that I saw the sky crack straight from the back to the front. It cracked in a straight line all the way forward into the horizon and it began to tear apart. And as it opened an ancient evil that has no body, it was silver and it looks like mist, but it also looks like liquid flowing mercury, like that thing from the Terminator began to flow out through the crack and make fingers like this. And that thing ate so many souls. It ate so many souls when it came into the earth that it went from silver, sparklyish silver to black. And I will just say that this was the same thing I saw coming into the world on that one hour prayer call that is available to you that makes mention of terrible darkness that will come to this earth and that will last for a period of time. And the Lord said that there will be living creatures in that darkness as a punishment to the world, for the world is sinful. These creatures are sinful, and God said that those things have been here forever. Here in America, we make lots of movies, we make lots of um, documentaries, and we say, we don't know everything, and there's things out there. Well, of course there are things out there. Those things were on this earth before the Lord created us in the safety of Eden, and that's where we were meant to stay. But being cast out, we have come out into the greater unknown, and these hairy things are living out in the fields, in the high hills, in the mountains, they are living at the very depths of the sea. They are there with their fish tails. They are there with their 17 arms. They are there with their huge sea serpent that is the length of half the sea from the bottom until the middle. They are there and we are here and we are smaller and those creatures are fallen and we also are fallen. And so it will be the battle and the joining of the fallen. This is what it means when it says iron mingling with clay. That evil kingdom that is raising up with man, with transhumanism, with being a cyborg, like Elon Musk says, with transcending and lifting your consciousness to the cloud and accepting hybrids and drinking potions and becoming 22 years old again for a moment, those things are going to directly clash with a mankind that doesn't want a God. Evil will be here exterminating evil, but as iron cannot cleave to clay, that iron is going to rise and strike this clay as part of the clay's judgment. That's why the fallen angels are only chained for a time. They will get their moment and come out of those holes wherever they are. No chains will be on them. Wormwood is going to fall into the water and decimate the population. These things that are under the volcanoes that I spoke about, that I have seen, huge, with perfect muscle tone, completely naked, bald, smashing chains inside volcanoes. They are inside these volcanoes, chained up. They are not bothered by the heat. They are bothered by being chained up, and they will not be chained up forever. There is going to be amalgam of these unclean things, even with women. I have said this, that the females of this world are going to get tired with sleeping with all the men that they sleep with and will branch out into strange flesh. The males also, God has said that the womb of the end time women will be the incubator to bring forth the new Nephilim. This is why the children will be born looking strange and confounding the doctors. Nothing happens unless it is part of the chain of events that is being presented here, hopefully in a clear style that anyone can follow. 
if they only take the time to watch the videos, ask less questions, make an investment in your own spiritual future. This is not a time for spoon feeding. God bless you. Discovery was tasked to look at a possible incoming contact. So an object that they spotted. This person that I've been talking to was asked to not talk about the details yet, but they can tell me that the first discovery, the lights, came from ESA, the European Space Agency. The other one is coming from the USA Canadian team, also from James Webb though, but they're the ones leading this investigation. It was tasked from either the NSA or the DOD. They don't know who's the one tasking it, but yes, it is part of this quote unquote threat narrative. The signal that is incoming is the big unknown. What they know is that it is coming, what they don't know is what the hell it is. I am trying to get people from Congress, either Congress people or staffers, to give me an official quote. Another detail that was uh, given to this person that I'm talking to is that this object is making moves, breaking moves, and course correcting moves. So that means that it is not a natural satellite. That means that it is not an asteroid either. It's coming this way and it is massive. I wasn't given speed of this object. I wasn't given dimensions. It was very vague. And this is what, uh, what Congress people are being told as well. But there is another nugget of information that they're being told, which is the reason they are doing these unclassified briefings. Because apparently there is some level of urgency. That doesn't mean that it's a threat, but it needs to be looked at and it needs to be studied. Elizondo uh, is already talking about it. Matt Ford is already talking about it. I know that more people are going to start coming forward with it over the next 10 days or so. Congress people are being briefed about it as we speak. How confident are you that it's true that there is an object detected by James Webb that's headed towards Earth that is massive? Like how how confident are you in that not in that information you got from your source? More than confident, it's like I'm weary that this information is being passed around. I don't know if it's true. I know that it is being passed around. Sure. That I'm confident of. Sure. But I want to know their motive for talking about this and it. why it's being like urgently communicated. Because is this tied to what Lou was saying on, on Matt's show? Yeah, it is. Do right. you think those two things are the same thing? Is that confirmed or you think it is? I asked and uh, I, I didn't get a no. I got a, I can't talk about it. That's so Can weird, you say man. who you asked or like no. Matt or Lou? Uh, okay. No, no, no okay. I can't say. I mean, it would have to be Lou. All right. He's the only one to confirm or deny that. I All mean, right. that whole conversation was just there's so a whole group, weird. There's a whole group that knows about this, Patrick. It's not just them two, you know? There have been some significant rumors of events regarding UAP that may occur within, you know, like 10 years or so. I don't know if it's something coming or a natural disaster. You hear of something big coming down the pike. Have you heard of these claims? And if so, do you have any idea what it may be? Yes, I've heard of them. Yes, I'm aware of them. And I'm not able to have that conversation. Got it. Um, there's, there's, uh, it's, it's not my conversation to have, but I, I'm aware of it. We're, we're kind of preparing the, the, U.S. population, at least, and uh, by extension, the world population, and to that reality that there is something, there is a presence here, and that we need to explain this presence because if they show up and we continue to do what we did before, previous decades, and they show up, there will be mass panic. But if you understand that you know, these are real, and we have five years from 2022, or maybe now four years, uh, if they come in 2027, uh, for, for the U.S. government to prepare the people about what is up there, and in many ways, I think uh, the word got out. Uh, within the government that they're showing up in 2027 and uh, we better be prepared and, and if not there's going to be a lot of explaining to do um, and so I think that dialogue has happened within uh, inside the government in certain areas inside the government that we need to prepare and that's why in 2017 uh, that set a clock of 10 years and why Lou Elizondo uh, earlier in this year said you know just find a hobby for five years and, uh, you know, it'll all be out in five years. And he said that this year. So that was 2027. Huh. And I would say I've heard 2027 in a kind of an official capacity. I can't reveal. So I think um, I, I would say that people in the government are aware of something happening and that there's limited time, uh, a few more years to prepare the people. And that's what's ramping up uh, this acceleration uh, from the previous seven decades of not even acknowledging it to now we are acknowledging it at a faster and faster pace.